Head back. Hold on. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. What's up guys, welcome back to the Dad Coaster Co channel. Quick disclaimer about today's video. Yeah, so something happened to my intro to this video. I literally cannot find it anywhere in any of the footage that I got this week. So that's why this video is starting off this way. But anyways, um, yeah. So in today's video, I took a New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day trip to the one the only San Antonio to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas as well as SeaWorld San Antonio. At first, when I first planned this trip, I decided I was just gonna go to SeaWorld San Antonio, but ended up deciding to go to both parks. I literally only had six hours to go to both parks. So stay tuned in the video to see if I make it to both parks in a matter of six hours. All right, so we're in the park now, about 25, 30 minutes until the park officially opens. And first step, gonna check out Goliath. As I said, I need this credit, so I'm gonna be checking out this BNM Invert. just got off of my ride on Goliath. Super fun being in Invert, got front row on there. Really enjoyed that ride. Uh, I mean, it's a Batman clone, so kind of know what to expect, but it was super fun. Even better, they also let us on the ride before the park even opened. The park still hasn't officially opened yet. It's like 11.50 something, park opens at 12, and we're just now getting off of Goliath. So that's a good start to the day. I'm not so sure Boomerang is open again this year. All right, y'all, Poltergeist, as of now, is closed as well. But at least I got Goliath so far. I'm now heading into the Fiesta Bay Boardwalk to see if Pandemonium is possibly operating. Out of all the Six Flags parks I've been to, I've never been on any of the Pandemoniums at any of them. Right now, Pandemonium is closed as well, but this sign down here does say that it is scheduled to open at 1 p.m., so we will see. We'll come back for this later. Everything in this boardwalk area must open at 1 uh, because it is completely dead over here. No action whatsoever going on, so. We'll come back over here, maybe closer to one, try to get pandemonium. Yes, sir. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso, the OG RMC single rail. Looks like it is currently not open yet, but they are doing some test runs here on the ride. So hopefully it opens here pretty soon. If I get time today, I wouldn't mind checking out the Joker Carnival of Chaos. This is the park's awesome pendulum ride. Well, Superman Krypton Coaster is currently closed right now as well. I'm guessing maybe most of these rides probably open at 1 p.m. is my guess. Here's a first look at the Kid Flash Cosmic Coaster. This is the park's new for this year or for 2023, uh, their new Kitty single rail coaster. And they have the waterfalls on the quarry wall turned off for some reason. Last year when I was here, it was colder than it is and they still have the waterfalls on, so I'm not really sure why they have the waterfalls off. All right, take a look at the wait lists here. Goliath is still at a five minute wait. Iron Rattler says it's a five minute wait, but I've not seen it running. So I'm gonna head over to Iron Rattler and see if I can get on that maybe. A lot of the other coasters I've been looking at though are closed right now. 
All right, here we go. Iron Rattler. Let's see if we can get on this. All clear means you're up and out of here. Sit back, hang on tight, and enjoy this 17 story drop here on the Iron Rattler. All right, y'all just got off an of Iron Rattler, and I think I liked it better than the last time I was here. That RMC is just really fantastic. I mean, just fantastic air time. I think that first drop on Iron Rattler, I think that might be my number one first drop on an RMC. Just how that like first drop kind of like bangs to the side and then goes straight down. It's just, it's a really unique feeling as far as the first drop goes on an RMC. It's just absolutely incredible. Like I said, like that way better than I did last time I was here. Uh, Iron Rattler, man, that, I think that's moved up a little bit on my RMC list. Here's a look at Roadrunner Express. I think I'm going to skip this one today. Rode it last time I was here. Nothing special about it, but it is a fun family ride. Alright, I've wrapped around back here to Boomerang and it's still closed, so I don't think it's going to be opening today. I thought I heard somebody say it was open earlier, but obviously it's not. Alright, we're back on the boardwalk and it looks a little bit more lively over here. It looks like Pandemonium is open as well, so I'm going to snag this credit real quick. Y'all just got off a of pandemonium. There is no wait for that. So that was a nice, easy, quick credit. Not a huge fan of the spinning coasters like that, but uh, it was fun. It was okay. But I'm just glad I did it, got it over with, and now I'm gonna move on to some other stuff. If you've never been to Fiesta, Texas, and it's your first time here, I recommend Pirates of the Deep Sea over here. It's this dark ride right here over on the boardwalk. It is a fantastic dark ride, especially for a Six Flags part. Our way back here at Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. And a cool thing down here is it gives you a little operation update uh, as far as the different renovations and uh, updates they've been doing to the ride. So it shows you they have two different phases of this uh, stuff that they're doing on the coaster. So it's really cool. All clear. Dispatching tree. So we just got evac'd off the ride. Not sure what exactly is going on, but it was getting ready to go up the lift hill and then the ride just stopped and they had to get us off. So we'll see if we can get back on. Alright guys, just got off a fantastic ride on Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. Man, these RMC single rails are just so intense. Awesome rides. Love how it goes over the water here at Fiesta Texas too. Check it out if you haven't here at Fiesta Texas. Alright, Superman Krypton Coaster is open now as well. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to skip it. I am running short on time if I'm going to make it over to uh, SeaWorld San Antonio. But I may check out Kid Flash over here real quick. So Kid Flash is not currently open. They are running some tests on it. So it may open soon, I don't know. But like I said, I'm low on time. Oh, and the waterfalls are on now over here at the, uh, at the quarry wall. Check it out, they are on now. Sweet. All right, Boomerang is open. 
and operating as you can see so we are going to check this out before we head out so scratch the boomerang idea uh the llama is a little bit too long than i wanted to wait for at least for a boomerang so i'm heading out now all right guys we are out of fiesta texas heading over to SeaWorld san antonio so uh, awesome time here obviously at Fiesta Texas one of the better Six Flags parks in the Six Flags well you know now they partner with Cedar Fair so as far as the Six Flags parks definitely one of the better Six Flags parks awesome rides today I uh, had had a great time so I will catch you guys back when I get over to SeaWorld all right y'all we have made it over to our second entrance sign of the day we are now over at SeaWorld San Antonio about 20 minutes from Fiesta Texas First time at the SeaWorld Park. This is the third and final SeaWorld Park that I need to get here in the United States. So super excited about being here today. So let's get into the park and see what we have to do today. All right, y'all, we have made it to the park entrance here at SeaWorld San Antonio. All right, as you're walking to the entrance plaza, you kind of got this weird setup here, uh, but the SeaWorld entrance is over here to the right. I saw the sign for it. So we are going to head over here. Just like most SeaWorld parks have, this one has very good directional cues here. So Texas Stingray, I think, is what we're going to go to first. And that is this way. Here's a look at Journey to Atlantis, the signature iconic attraction at the SeaWorld Parks. This is San Antonio's version. <laughs> Alright, we've made it over here to Texas Stingray. GCI Woody here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Well, now the ride is on a delay, so we might go to something else for right now since it's down. Well, guys, I just wasted probably about 30 or 45 minutes trying to find stupid lockers that would fit my backpack. I tried to get one of the uh, transferable lockers over by uh, Steel Eel, but my uh, bag was too big for the locker, so I had to come all the way back to the park entrance to the bigger lockers that have the all-day rentals and had to pay 20 bucks for one that fits my bag, so yay me. So now I'm going to try and get a couple credits in. I don't have too much more time that I can spend here, so we're going to see what I can get on. I'll probably head towards Steel Eel, and then over near there is um, the Great White, the B&M Invert, and then as well as, uh, not Arctic Rescue, but it's uh, Wave Breaker here. So uh, we'll see if I can get on those before I leave. I will try to get some uh, on-ride footage uh, for you guys as well. As you know, SeaWorld Parks do allow you to take uh, GoPros uh, and cameras as long as they are secured properly uh, with mounts so I will try to do that and here we are at Steel Eel this is a Morgan big coaster here at SeaWorld San Antonio I just got off a of steel eel and honestly I wasn't expecting much from this coaster but oh my word the ejector airtime was kind of insane on it like I was getting slammed into my seat after every hill it's really fun uh, like I said it caught me by surprise so check it out if you come here to see real San Antonio all right I was gonna try and get in line for Wavebreaker, but the line is just a little bit too long and the operations here are not great so I think I'm gonna skip this one so we just found a sign for Catapult Falls Catapult Falls is the new flume coaster that's supposed to be coming here to SeaWorld San Antonio.
a great white. I thought it was pretty pretty solid being an invert. Uh, not super long, but not super short either. Good duration. I think I liked my ride better on Goliath earlier today on Fiesta Texas's being an invert, but overall solid ride. As the sun goes down, all the Christmas lights are on the park are starting to come on. It's too bad I can't stay here and see all of them for the night. Got to catch my flight, unfortunately. All right, guys, so that's going to do it here from SeaWorld San Antonio. Was only able to get two coasters in at this park today, unfortunately. Spent a lot of time wasted trying to find lockers and just scrambling around the park, but oh well. Uh, still had fun, though, and had a blast today at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. So you can definitely do both parks in one day, uh, especially you're going to have probably more time than I did. I only had limited hours today, so I have to catch a flight. But anyway, I, I really enjoyed my time. So uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy New Year to you guys. Hopefully 2024 treats you well. Hopefully it treats Dad Coaster Co. well. We, uh, tonight with um, Great White, we hit 170 credits. So shooting for 200 this year in 2024. So super stoked about that. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.